you. Well, we've got a budget that is quite possibly the most dishonest budget that I have ever had the experience of having to listen to and respond to. We've got a government who is trying to pretend for all intents and purposes that they've learned the lessons from their past uh, awful budgets, their heinous budgets, the ones that we campaign so heavily against. They're pretending now all of a sudden that they've listened to us, that they're going to tax the big banks, that they're going to put money into infrastructure, that they're going to do all the good things. But if you look carefully at this budget, every single one of those things is a ruse. There are no new jobs in this budget. There is nothing that is going to help working people have more secure lives. This so-called big infrastructure spend is actually an infrastructure cut. We found out this morning is actually about $7 billion being taken out of infrastructure spending, which means less jobs, less jobs for working Australians. They're cutting jobs out of the public service. They're cutting awful, awful welfare cuts that will do nothing but increase inequality in this country. A situation that we know is getting worse and worse. This budget gives to Peter by taking from Paul. They will have you think it is a good budget, but this is definitely a case of a leopard not changing its spots. I am asking the people of Australia to look carefully at the response to this. All the good things they're saying they're doing are not good at all. So a $6.2 billion levy on the banks. But you know what? What's still in the budget is a $50 billion tax cut for big business. So that's not going to mean anything to the banks because down the track they know they're going to get a tax break. They're increasing the Medicare levy. They say to fund the NDIS. We love the NDIS and we love Medicare. But they're taking away the deficit levy from the richest people in our community. So it's not going to affect the rich people. Who is it going to affect? Working Australians. And they wouldn't have had to do this because they could have funded the NDIS simply by not giving big business a $50 billion tax cut. This government has not changed its spots. It wants you to think it has, but it hasn't. This is a dishonest budget. And we are going to make sure the people of Australia, working people, know that and that they know there's nothing in it for them. Thank you.